Everybody's doing it. It's the bleached wood look without bleaching. Today, I'm gonna show you how to lighten up wood using something other than bleach. So if you wanna see this non-toxic, easy alternative, just keep watching. Welcome back everyone. Surprise, in addition to a brand new furniture flipper, I'm a musician. I've actually been playing music for 26 years. But today I do have a quick furniture flip for you. I'm going to take this outdated old little end table that my parents had and turn it into something lighter and brighter and much nicer. This old table has been in my parents' garage for I don't even know how many years, so it's time for a makeover. I don't like the yellowing wood and the finish is coming off and it's kind of wobbly, so I'm going to have to make some repairs, but I don't think it'll be too big of a project. I'm starting out by cleaning with some Simple Green, which is a great degreaser, and I'm going to wipe it all down with a sponge. After that, I will spray it down with some water to get rid of all the cleaner and wipe down the water with a rag. I'm gonna go take this out to the sun to dry off and when it's all dry, I'm gonna get started with sanding. For this project, I used a combination of my orbital sander as well as just some sanding sheets and a sanding block. A lot of times I like to take a piece of sandpaper and wrap it around a sanding block or sanding sponge and that's really helpful when I need to get into small areas. And as you can see, the orbital sander is not going to work on the base of this or the middle of it, so that's why I'm using these other things. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is make a bit of a paint wash. I'm using Annie Sloan paint and some water, and I went for a two to one ratio of two parts water to one part paint. That was actually a little thick, so later on I ended up putting in a little bit more water, so maybe even more water. And I'm using the Zebra Round Brush, which I really love, and it's good for um, round pieces like the middle here or just getting into little details. So I'm just finishing up the first layer of this paint wash and then I'm going to wipe it all back with a rag. And this will still leave on a bit of the paint wash, but it just leaves a nice like semi-transparent layer. The goal here is to lighten up the wood, but to still be able to see the wood grain. So I'm not trying to paint it white, I'm just trying to make the wood look lightened and brightened without using bleach. Chalk paint is amazing because it either has no VOCs or few VOCs depending on the brand. Uh, and so that means you don't have to wear a respirator when you're using it and you don't need to wear gloves. It's not going to stain your clothes. It's all water based. And so I really like working with it. All right, time to seal this piece. I am using chalk paint wax in clear from Annie Sloan and my wax brush also from Annie Sloan, which I have really been loving. So I'm just gonna do a layer over the whole piece and then if there's excess, I'll wipe that back. I love watching how the wax just like brightens but also kind of deepens the color of this and makes the wood really come to life and look really nice. So I've actually been loving using furniture wax lately. Mm -hmm. 
This video is short and sweet, so make sure to hit subscribe if you haven't already. Click it, and here's the review. All right, here is the before. It is worn out and outdated and very yellow. The finish is coming off and it just does not look very good. And here is the after. I think this has a little bit of a nice kind of beachy vibe. This bleached look is very popular right now. I love that you can see the wood grain here really nicely and I like the little accent of the flowers and the way that they kind of have absorbed the paint. I've styled this a few different ways, maybe as a plant stand or it could be used as just an end table, a place to put books or a candle. You could use this also as just a coffee cup holder, you know, at the end of your couch or as a place to put mail in when you come in the door. These little tables are so versatile and this was a fun flip that took me less than two hours start to finish. Questions, comments, concerns? I'm a beginner furniture flipper, but I have 26 years of music under my belt. So I will link down below to where you can listen to that if you're curious of like what I do when I'm not sanding. Thanks for watching everyone. And I will see you at the next flip.